all right so what is going on today youtube i have a new video topic for you guys now um just want to clarify these are these are just my thoughts these are what i think is going to happen and stuff like that even though i really shouldn't have to clarify that because you can tell by the title there are three these are my three bold prediction for the upcoming um i guess three months of Yu Gi Oh until the next set come out and then you do another one of these but for this time period of Yu Gi Oh, these are three bold predictions. Now, number one, um, our first bold prediction, um, which I don't feel like is really that bold. I just feel like it's just going to happen. Solemn Judgment will not be played probably after the first month of the uh, of the format because <clears throat> I, I don't think I think people are a little like a lot nostalgic. If, if people are really nostalgic about this card, now don't get me wrong, it's a good card. We touched on that in monday's video i mean in saturday's video also uh, it, it's a really good card but i don't think a lot of people realize that game is so easy now depending on what happens in the video you guys are watching right now you might see somebody get otk'd but right now just i know everybody wants to rush out and buy these solid drugs i think solid is like a 20 dollar card right now for like it's just it's just ridiculous man slow your roll everybody and it's probably too late because you guys already probably bought your solemn judgments or whatever the case may be but just listen folks this card right here just like towards you know before it got banned everybody was not playing it because uh what is that one card that came out excalibur excalibur came out and it, that does four thousand i can't tell you how many times that literally I, I not, not even counting the times it happened to myself where i saw a judgment and they just dropped excalibur in, in the tag and that's when heroes barely came out with the shadow mist and stuff and everybody was playing with that but you gotta you guys gotta remember man utopia is still a card you know what i mean like you will get otk'd if you drop solemn judgment in the beginning of the game and that's why i feel like it's really not going to be good past the first month because when everybody figures out I'm getting OTK'd a lot more than I should because I'm activating Solemn Judgment. Now, late game, crucial top decking moment, sure. But this card is really going to just be phased out after the first month because it's just not the same type of game when this card was legal. This game is way much faster. There's way more easier cards to drop. But just think about it. <clears throat> An Electrum is game. Just think about that one electrum is game so if you pin if you stop something <clears throat> let's say you stop my pendulum summon or whatever the case may be and then i get i i'll try to pendulum summon you solemn judgment oh yeah you about to win nope i just doing it I, all i have to do is bring electrum out and as soon as electrum hit the board the game is over you solemn judgment electrum you're going to get pendulum summoned on like i'm just trying to tell you it gets trick stars this is bad it's, it's just not a good card please don't buy into the hype all right so that's pretty much my first prediction is that solemn judgment would not be played competitively after the first month of Yu-Gi-Oh. may have maybe after this first ycs yes, but guaranteed after the first month no not gonna be played second uh bold prediction this whoa forgot the forgot the b um stun is going to be an actual relevant deck um thanks to the new ban list we got a bunch of trap cards back not really a bunch but a lot of good trap cards such as torrential bottomless and stuff like that and also to combat with that the release of in inspector border which is you know a fantastic under a very I, I really did not really pay attention to this card but this card is fantastic konami made it secret for a reason stun is going to be viable in this format it may even take a couple of spots in the next ycs which i believe is atlanta or something is it's somewhere out there um but it's going to be i want to say memphis for some reason but i've never heard of ycs in memphis so <laughs> we're not going to do that but uh <clears throat> yeah stun may take a couple of top spots in the next upcoming ycs uh, and i really feel real good about that now yeah like i said thunder kings at three this card just got out just came out there's a lot more other cards in here I, I forgot the name of it but there's a trap card that's like this it's crazy it's pretty good this card is already just ridiculous and also that you did get solid you know people did get you did get solemn judgment back solemn strike is still at three we still have solemn warning bottomless we have hand traps i really believe that it, some like at least i would say for the first ycs i will expect at least four 
at least for a maximum no 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 maximum five the minimum i would say i would say two at least two is gonna sink and i'm just giving myself a little leeway but i really believe two to five decks of the stun variant is going to be topping and they may even win depending on pretty much the die roll because if they go first and start with this the game is going to be very out of hand and don't forget kaiju's run around and stuff like that it's going to get really out of hand you know stun can go first every match they play what you know is not really you know a great you know that's not really logical to, they're going to go you know first sometimes but not all the times but you guys understand what i'm saying if stun can go ahead and get that first little bam that's it once they drop this card on the board a lot of decks can't play a lot of decks can't do nothing the only th the only thing that can counter stun is my third prediction and my third prediction folks is that oops spelled that completely wrong but you guys know wait, mythical okay there you go you guys know exactly what i'm talking about um but you may not know what i'm referring to pendulums my third and final prediction final bold prediction you ready folks pendulums will still be the best deck I mean, will be the best deck because they're not the best deck right now. Do not get overhyped about the what's the name, the ban list. Double Irish did get banned. I already told you about that. Joker got banned. That would really, really hurt the deck. Uh, besides the Double Irish, I think Joker was a much bigger hit because that was their turn one. Get anything you want. Now, you have to you know do other stuff. But folks, listen, I would say there's probably going to be 15 to 20. No, 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 that's way too much. I would say between 10 and 15 decks will be pendulums and they're going to feature this card a lot of people don't like this card a lot of people think this card is garbage this card is really good uh because they have its it has its own way to summon it which if you guys haven't uh if you guys don't know why do i keep misspelling it but you guys do not know um this card right this two right here which is probably going to be three cerberus one jackal or it might be two two or might be one three I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah I think it's gonna be three one or two one it's gonna be some combination I believe this is gonna be more in the deck besides this but this can search I think it might be a two two that might be cool or I don't know it would be one of these it, it'll be something but these two cards which a lot of people were sleeping on this card right here is just stupid um, I got OTK. In one of these videos, I got OTK, and that's not the reason why I'm saying I think Pendulum's going to be the best deck. I, I really do think Pendulum's going to be the best. Right? They have the best Link Monster. They have the easiest way to get anything out. Astral Guy Sorcerer is still a fantastic card, which you guys are going to see probably go up to $10 at a point in time. But, I mean, like, this card right here is really going to make Pendulum's, you know, going to take that extra step because... Um, if you guys don't know what this does is it, if you have no other cards in your pendulum zone You can destroy this and add a level 7 or lower mythical beast Which you'll just add this and then you can activate this to special summon this from your extra deck Basically the same requirements you can't have another pendulum zone. I mean you can't have another card in your pendulum zone <clears throat> And then you can pop this bring this out and don't forget this is a level six so technically one cerberus can get a pen for a pendulum monster for free out and not we're not even considering the fact that if you can bring out an Electrum, like if you can, you know, people are gonna start playing a Dark Worm build, they're gonna bring out an Electrum, you can uh, you can literally put this, you can activate this and put it in your scale and then special summon it to right there, and then you can set your scales up, then this is gonna be at four, cannot be destroyed by card effects, while there's four or more spell count, spell counter on the field, and then once per turn, you can remove four and banish a monster, and you gain the attack. So just imagine a opponent giving you a kaiju, 3300 kaiju, activate, the, I mean, summon this, get it to four, banish your kaiju. He's at 61, and that's game. That's 79 from Electrum and, and, and him. <laughs> Come on, like, and then you can just pendulum summon this guy because he's a level six. Trust and believe, folks, when I say pendulums are still going to be the best deck and it's definitely going to feature these cards. So if you did pull this in your box, do not be sad. Stack up on these because that's what I'm about to do. So yeah man that is my three bold predictions solemn judgment is not going to be played after a month stun is going to be uh one of the best decks of the format and pendulums are going to be the best deck because of these new additions to the deck which i'm pr pretty sure somebody's going to figure out how to play and um then it's going to just be on from there but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy it let me know you guys predictions for the format am i wrong do you disagree whatever the case may be um that is all fine it's all about conversation um i was already right about the double iris so 
just call me the prophecy man that's that just i'm just gonna rename my channel to busted the prophecy mick busted um uh and then that'd be the end of the i mean that'd just be my new name so <laughs> but anyways yeah let me know what you guys think and stuff like that and that is it for today i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did and you know willing to support the channel click and add while you still can and also if you guys want to go above that go ahead and click and uh go ahead and donate to my patreon right now i'm going to be trying to set i'm just trying to get a camera you guys let me know if you have a specific camera you guys like to see or if you know of a camera that's pretty good for dueling and stuff like that let me know down below and so we can uh i can put that as one of my goals but right now just uh <clears throat> looking for a little bit of extra help because that's the first thing i'm gonna be getting so yeah uh yeah so we can start just doing some recording and stuff like that but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy it and i will see you guys tomorrow